<laughs> Welcome, what's going on? How are we? Um bit of a different style video, a new sort of thing that I'd like to bring um, to the channel to be honest. Just me talking about things going on in football, my opinions on different stuff. I feel like it'll be more relatable to people who don't support Liverpool as well. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be doing, uh, you know, me reviews on Liverpool games. I'm still going to be doing the sheet of absolute, of course. But this is just something a little bit different for people who might not be a Liverpool fan and might not just want to watch Liverpool content. Now also, I'm going to be trying to introduce something very new to the channel soon, something I don't want to go into too much detail, but basically like just a day of the week where the content isn't football related, it's more funny, it's more about in my personal life, I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be yet, if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below, but I just want to introduce a little bit of more of a funny side, a bit more of a comedy side to the channel, I feel like that would be a great addition to me, it's something that a lot of people have been asking for, however, if you want to currently see what I do in my private life at the moment, then go and follow me socials, Twitter, Twitter James, James Redman, underscore 96, and Instagram, Instagram is the exact, exact same thing. thing. But enough of that, let's get into the video and let's start talking about some proper footy. So the first thing that I want to bring up is Coutinho going to Bayern Munich. Now I just want to give my thoughts on how I feel about this transfer, whether I think Liverpool should have went out and actually bought them themselves. Not just let Bayern Munich jump on this opportunity, get the loan deal that we were linked to, to get him for. You know, obviously the, the rumour was with us that it was a two-year loan deal and we'd have an option to buy back. But Bayern Munich have gone out, they've gone and paid a loan fee, they've got him for the season, they have the option to buy him at the end of the season. But the question is, will Coutinho adapt to the Bundesliga and will we ever see him play in a Barcelona shirt again? Now, the loan fee is 9.3 million and the potential buy clause and the buy clause that is in the contract um, is for 133 million euros. Now, of course, that is a lot of money, but I think regardless of the type of season Coutinho had at Barcelona, which I understand, it wasn't very good. Um, Barcelona fans weren't overly pleased with him, but listen, when you play for Barcelona, the expectation that's on you um, to play for that shirt is unbelievable. And... You know, he's still done really he's still done quite well. He's still got goals, he's still contributed, he's still played a lot of games. I feel like this is a very good signing for Bayern Munich if I do say so myself. Now I'm not gonna lie, I actually kinda wish Liverpool went out and snatched for Felipe Coutinho, because at the end of the day, he's a top player. So, uh, listen, and people can say what they want. I, I, you know, oh, he left the club. When he left, we went and won the Champions League. Oh, we played better without him. No, that's all bollock. We, we never played better without him. We only got to see four or five months of the Fab Four being Firmino, Salah, Mane and Coutinho. And let's be honest, it was it was brilliant to watch while we had it. And just imagine being able to have that for a full season. Now, the reason why I think this is a good signing for Bayern Munich is because at the end of the day, Coutinho is the difference of us. Let's say, for example, us. He's the difference of whether we win the league or not. Now, obviously, Bayern Munich win the league pretty much every season, which, uh, you know, ob obviously, you might not need to continue to that level. But listen, the Bundesliga is, get is getting more competitive and bringing in world-class players, because that's what he is. He's world-class. Let's not beat around the bush. He's fucking, He's a brilliant man. He he's a very good footballer. And... When you bring in a player of that calibre, it, it, it's it's not necessarily gi giving you know giving you the league. It's not making it certain that you're going to win it, but it certainly does help your chances. Like for example, if you look at us last season, when you, you know you look at the games like Leicester. Everton, when we drew them games, when we lost to City, just think if you had a player like Coutinho in the team, just to be able to give you a moment of magic, that'd just be so brilliant to have, and I feel like that's what Liverpool do lack, like, just that one player who can just change a game in a, in a blink of an eye, and that's something that Coutinho can do. Coutinho, he's just a very out-the-box player, and what I mean by out-the-box, not just because he scores a lot of goals outside the box, but, you know, just the way he can dribble past people, his flair, his talent, his awareness, his awareness to make a pass, you know, stuff like this is something that not every player just has, you know, it, it, it takes time for players to develop this, and this is something that Coutinho did develop at Liverpool. And at the end of the day, he's just a brilliant player, whether you like him or you don't. So, in my opinion... 
I would have liked Liverpool to, to, to go ahead and, and get this deal done, a loan deal for Coutinho, but obviously Jurgen Klopp did rule that out. He said he weren't particularly interested in making the move, and listen, whatever the manager says, I, I, I'm, I, I'm in no position to disagree with. I 100% stand by Jurgen Klopp and his decisions, um, but it just would have been a nice little touch on the transfer window, over do say so myself, but a good signing for Bayern Munich. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Now, moving on, we've got... Um, Shaqiri coming out and saying, not not in the words that he's unhappy, but that he's not particularly pleased with the amount of game time he's getting. Now, Shaqiri obviously joined last summer for Liverpool, not the one just gone, the one before from Stoke City who got relegated. Um, it was obviously a very positive sign in terms of the Liverpool fans, the way they looked at it, the way we looked at it. We thought it was, it was just a bit of something that we needed. You look back at the final against Real Madrid when we only had players like Adam Lallana who just got back from injury to come on, whereas now... If we are in a position where we can't play Salah or Firmino, i.e. the Barcelona game um, back in May or whatever when we played Barcelona, you know, just having a player like Shaqiri to come on is just a very positive thing. And I actually, I, you know, you'd have players like Diva Harigi, of course, but if Shaqiri goes, you do lose that just extra bit of quality in your team. And yes, we do have players like Diva Harigi. However, just on a consistent basis and in terms of an actual great backup, Shakiri is probably the more prestigious option. Now, whoa, 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 but now I know everyone's having a go at me. Listen, I'm not slating Origi at all. Listen, Origi's a brilliant man. He's got the biggest cock in Europe. He's a fucking glorious person. And he, he's, you know, he basically won us the Champions League in his own way. Shaqiri just brings that extra bit of class into the team. You know, he's played for Bayern, he's played for Inter, he, he played for Stoke when they were on the up a bit. Obviously, it didn't end well, but we signed and we snatched him up. He's a good player, he's proven that. Um, and I do understand his frustrations, but I think Jürgen Klopp needs to do what he can to keep hold of this player because I think it's going to be hard to go out there and try and find someone as good as Shakiri who will be willing to sit on the bench week in, week out. Um, just, but obviously... This is the point. Shakiri is upset about the fact he's not getting game time. He knows he's never going to be a first-team player, but he, he just wants that bit more involvement in the team, and obviously you can understand that from a fan's point of view. But the question I have for all you is, is that do you think Shakiri should be getting more game time for Liverpool? If I had to ask myself, I would I would say, yeah, he does, because he just offers that bit more something, something, and I do get why he wants to play. So, in my opinion, I believe that he should be getting more game time. But let me know what you all think in the comments. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. my guy, my lord and saviour, man like Sadio Mane. Now, listen, I know that you're getting sick of me talking about him. I'm not getting sick of talking about him. But how can I not when he keeps on pulling out these absolute top class performances, absolute fucking Messi-esque, if not better performances, just sexiness all round. You saw how much we missed him when he weren't playing against City, when he wasn't playing against uh, against Norwich for the whole game. But when he comes in against Chelsea, scores them two goals, essentially, you know, it was a huge part of winning us that cup. And then coming in against Southampton and again essentially winning us that game also because Southampton could have came back. But if it weren't for the involvement of Mane's, of Mane's goal and his assist, then it's, it's just a very different story overall. Just absolute top class player. And anyone that wants to give me shit for, for absolutely adoring this man, then go fuck yourself because I'm just not going to listen. He's a very he's a very good player. I knew this two years ago. I know it now. I'm, I, I just, I'm on to it. But a question that I do want to ask you all is, do you think Mane will be Liverpool's most influential player this season? Because obviously if you look at last season, it was Virgil van Dijk. The season before, it was Mohamed Salah. You know, it's kind of changed, but now is it going to be Mane? Is he, obviously the season before Mohamed Salah, it was Sadio Mane. Is he going to come back? Is he going to outshine these players? And if we do win more silverware this season, is Mane going to be the big, you know, sort of reason for that success let me know with your thoughts in the comments down below let me know if you've enjoyed this video it's a bit of a different one it's something a bit new let me know if you want to see more of me just talking about general football news obviously still mostly liverpool um 
and, and other things like that. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to be working on something to choose one day of the week where it's just not footy related, something more funny, something a bit more comedic. Um, I'll work on it, I'll start getting my ideas. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Appreciate all the support. If you want to leave a cheeky like and a subscribe, then by all means, I'm not going to stop you. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Ta-da.